Welcome back to the Multiverses Yay or Nay series and today we got a brand new character for you guys like we do every weekend but it is none other than the Fear Eater himself aka Pennywise the Dancing Clown. We've talked about Pennywise a few times on the channel but uh, you know let's throw him into the Yay or Nay series this time around. Let's see how people really feel about him possibly being added or just in case in this case I should say. What is your opinion? Yay, you want to see him playable, or nay, you do not want to see him playable. And then, as always, we'll go over our moveset, concept, um, so, uh, taunt ideas, alternate costume ideas, and you know, you guys get the gist of it by now, but uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into some moveset ideas for Pennywise. Move idea number one is going to be the, the weirdest, I guess you could say, out of the ones that I have here. So I'm taking inspiration from a different video, and this comes from a... Uh, YouTuber Rathorinix, uh, I, th I probably butchered his name, but uh, all credit goes to this person's video and I just thought this was a really fun idea that you could apply to multiverses. So how this idea works, Pennywise, as maybe a neutral special, places down one balloon and he will have different colored balloons. Maybe he has a red one uh, or like a yellow or a blue one. And each of these balloons, when they're placed, it's not going to be like Harley Quinn. You can't place these in the air and, you know, try to make like a minefield and everything. This is going to be one balloon out at a time. And if the opponent ends up getting knocked into the balloon or the opponent just attacks the balloon itself, well, then each corresponding balloon will have an effect that then gets applied to the opponent. For example, if there's a red balloon, say we did something like ignite you know uh, accrue some damage which will decay over time obviously but uh, the opponent hits it and then they get set on you know a, a blaze for a couple seconds taking a little extra damage or maybe the yellow balloon when popped will apply a stunned effect to the, to the opponent for like a half a second or whatever the duration is for stunned uh, that'd be pretty fun and then the, the blue one or the whatever the third color might be maybe it's a stack or of weekend, you know, incur greater knockback and damage. So, you know, you got these different ways to apply these status effects on your opponent, and it's as simple as Pennywise places a balloon on stage. Again, one balloon out at a time, you know, to, you know, minimize, you know, the chaotic craziness of too many balloons at once. But, you know, I just thought this would be a fun idea, so had to give, uh, you know, I guess this take for one of his moves. Move idea number two. Pennywise has often, no matter what iteration you have of him, he's often shown off his sharp teeth. So uh, I figured that has to be an attack somehow, right? Maybe Pennywise, I don't know. Uh, the, the, the latest iteration that we have of Pennywise from a few years ago, he's able to like unhinge his jaw and then he opens his mouth really wide and he's got all them razor sharp teeth in there. So what if the attack is just like a little chomp, but do you got all them different, uh, or all them uh, razor sharp teeth, I should say. And maybe this move could have its own status effect that it applies as well, or I guess gameplay effect that it has. And for my idea for this chomp attack, uh, the chomp itself will have armor breaker. I think that's what it call, what it's called. But uh, the effect is when used, when this chomp is used, it will ignore any armor or shields. It goes straight through it and attacks and hits the opponent. So it doesn't matter if you're facing Wonder Woman who has 18 stacks of armor, does not matter. This will go through it. So uh, again, the attack itself will be a little, I guess, startup heavy. So, you know, Pennywise will kind of have to, almost like he's gearing up to do the attack, you know, it takes him a, like a second or two, and then he'll do the lunge forward for the chomp. So I think that's, uh, the heavy startup leg for the attack is then kind of nullified by adding some sort of gameplay effect, like I said, with the armor break. Does that make sense? Now for move idea number three, uh, I, Pennywise is associated with red balloons, so why don't we get Pennywise floating in on some red balloons? Make this his up special, and I think you can make this a little fun. He will have, I don't, do you call it a bushel of balloons, a, a group of balloons, a horde of balloons? I don't even know, but he's going to have this giant a horde of balloons that he's holding on to. And the move itself just has Pennywise floating upwards into the air, and you can have some controllability over it, you know, left or right, maneuverability, I guess I should say. But uh, the horde of balloons will act almost as like it's a makeshift shield in a way. So if there's any opponent that's above 
Pennywise, they'll just get kind of pushed up. It's almost like uh, Morty with his uh, spaceship that he summons. It just kind of lifts you up. That's all it's going to do to the opponent. It's not going to deal any damage. So if the opponent is above Pennywise and he pulls out this move, well, they're going to have to go through all of these balloons. And of course, if a balloon gets uh, hit, then they all get popped. Well, not all of them at once, but take a couple attacks to pop them. But essentially, Pennywise gets to float wherever he wants. And, uh, you know, I think this is a pretty good idea. Now let's move over to, uh, well, let's say some taunt ideas and then some alternate costumes. So taunt number one, I mean, this is just obvious. This is like the duh. You got to get the dancing version of, like, come on, you got this would sell. I mean, maybe this is the default. Nah, this wouldn't be the default that comes with them. This would have to be something that's maybe in the store. People would buy this. Come on. Taunt idea number two. This one's going to be a little bit more simpler. Back to the red balloon, but uh, Pennywise just, uh, you know, out of thin air, a red balloon appears, and then he just kind of like peeks from behind it. You know, something pretty simple, nothing too chaotic, but he's just kind of like, yeah, I'm here. Uh-huh, I see you. Now you should be afraid. You know, classic Pennywise here, so... That I think those two taunts are no-brainers in my opinion. Now let's move over to the alternate costume ideas. Of course, you got to go with, uh, I, I believe the default version of Pennywise would most likely be the most recent iteration or, you know, pr pretty close to that. So alternate costume idea number one, get the Pennywise from, uh, what, the 1990 version of the movie? That's when it came out, right? But uh, you guys see it on screen. Very simple idea. I mean, this would be cool. So if you're more of a fan of this version of Pennywise, you like this look better, well then, you know, you got that version and you could equip that costume anytime you want and go play as that character. Cool. So, you know, just an idea. But alternate costume idea number two, this one's gonna be a little strange, but again, it's from the most recent It movies. And it's when, anybody remember this version or this scene from the movie where he takes over that Paul Bunyan statue? What if that's an alternate costume? I know this is a weird idea, but a giant, well, I mean, he's not gonna be a giant character, but the costume itself is the Paul Bunyan getup. I don't know, just something crazy I thought I'd throw out there, you know, maybe maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's not, but, uh, you know, I thought it was at least out there and a little bit different, so, you know, I tried. Now for a couple cosmetic ideas, you know, player profile, or, well, one profile idea and then one player banner, so profile icon, the simple one, just a simple red balloon. Just a simple red balloon to incite a little bit of fear in the opponent, maybe, but, uh, you know, it's Pennywise, again, like we mentioned with his attacks, he's associated with red balloons, so very simple idea, profile icon. Now for the player banner, I think this one, uh, just kind of a cool nod, if you will, but just, what about like a paper boat just kind of going down the water? What, you know, very simple, you know, very reminiscent, brings people a lot of nostalgia, you know, and then of course, you know, paper boat leads to what it does, but you know, just a paper boat floating along the water. That could be an animated banner, maybe, you know, that could work, but uh, that's what I got for that. And here is the group of six, or well, the first six characters, ranked in order of percentage points of a yes to no ratio. Exact same positions that we seen last time. Grim is still in first place, uh, Mordecai, Rigby, second and third, and then Scorpion, Freddy Krueger, and Foghorn Leghorn round out the top six. Uh, every character on this list, besides Grimm, actually rose pretty much about a quarter of a percentage point. Uh, Grimm did fall uh, almost three quarters of a percentage point, but he's still the only character above 90% for yes to no ratio, but, uh, you know, so that's pretty cool. But uh, those are not the only characters, because we also have the newbies who, well, I mean, there's, what, three new characters this week? Invincible, Oz Osmosis Jones, I was gonna call him Ozzy Jones, but I mean, that kind of works too. But then Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, those are the three new characters that we're getting for the very first time in the series. So Invincible starts off in seventh place, 104 total votes, 73.07% uh, yes to no ratio. So not too bad, not too bad. And then you got Osmosis Jones, 97 total votes, 68 yeses, 29 nays, and he comes in with a 70.10% yes to no ratio. And then Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, 101 votes, 70 yays. Uh, this was a lot more than I was expecting. There's a lot of people that were uh, kind of on board with this uh, out of left field idea, so kind of cool to see. But uh, he is a 69.30% yes to no ratio. And then, of course, the last two, Peridot in 10th place and then Barbie in 11th place. 
Barbie did rise 1.23%, so she's on the come up, I guess, uh, but 53.98% for Barbie, and then 58.53% for Peridot in 10th place. That is it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.